<laughs> Bueller. Bueller. Uh, four of, I don't know why I said that. I just said the fair S. I just kind of made that up. Four vintage Liberty Blue Staffordshire Iron Stone Coasters Ashrays Butter Pads. These are actually pretty small. I don't think they were actually coaster size, were they? What? No, nah, they're about four and a half. What? Uh, these little things. Nice. No, but people put them on as coasters. Do they? Okay. No, I said I think it says on the box. Oh, does it? Let's see. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say coasters. What does it say? Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Coaster ashtrays. Yeah. Huh. But they're beveled. Ah, eh, whatever. Misleading. If I bought those, I would not use them as coasters. I'd be like, these aren't coasters, idiots. All right, uh, vintage sterling silver sign JJ. Oh, Judith Jack, JJ. Wow, this is actually kind of pretty. I remember. Is this that ring? Is that a ring? Yeah. It's a pretty Judith Jack ring. Um, not didn't sell for a lot of money. Thirty-two fifty. Does is that because we put it on sale or did it go for auction? Let's see. Huh. Good to cancer. Someone must have made us an offer, and I was, no, it it didn't sell. But oh yeah, somebody made an yeah. offer on that. But thirty two fifty, that's they, a weird ass offer. They pay tax. Oh, maybe I don't know. Uh, and oh, this you said was in terrible condition. The antique signed oh, yeah, Whiting really and Davis bad. solder. That's why we didn't get much for it. Only twenty bucks. Um, what did these normally sell for? In much better condition. If they're in really good condition, they can go. 75 and up okay so ours was um, in bad but condition if they're silver or if they're enameled like they had colorful ones that oh had, then that's like, images big money, on them right? or something yeah those go over a hundred okay. but this was just uh and it, and i think the reason i bought it is because i thought it was going to be silver yeah but it wasn't okay silver. birdcage blu-ray i only sell blu-rays anywhere from like two dollars to three dollars so, and they don't even sell that well. And believe it or not, Birdcage is not an easy sell at the flea markets I go to. So when I saw it was worth 10 bucks, easy, I was like, screw it, I'll put it on 10 bucks, easy. Signed, Ann Taylor, black and metallic link necklace uh, with Lucite rhinestone pendant, 25 bucks. I'll just show it. There, that's what it is. Um, I guess it's, they like it. It's Ann Taylor and it was pretty and 25 bucks is reasonable. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. This is this is where I'm going to end up then, because I was like, man, where's? Uh, I'll count how many things. Sign University of New York at Buffalo, 1846 vintage felt pendant. This is probably my last best sale of the week. And when did this happen? Uh, start time. When did when did they buy it? Oh, 17, 2020, September 17. Wow, my last hundred dollar sale was like. But you can see I made a lot of sales. My my last hundred dollar sale was about two weeks ago almost uh almost two weeks ago so whatever all right and let's see how many sales i had in between that hundred dollar sale wow F almost 50 one two three four fifty five anyway um some interesting items this time some unusual things uh Queen, queen. Um, so not bad overall. I uh, hope you saw a few interesting things. Hope you learned a little uh, from what I've shown you. You know, things that you can go and pick up, sell, make some money. Hope we were entertaining, right? We're, you think we're entertaining? You bother me again. <laughs> hope we didn't bother you too much. Anyway, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.